just wanted to do a quick video on the uh, primary reason I started my YouTube channel and the primary purpose of my testing. I wanted visual representation of what bullets do at longer range and there's very little of that and so I reached out to uh, most of the bullet manufacturers out there and was in contact with several of them primarily uh, Berger and Hornady I was in contact with uh, Barnes on some of this information too to ask them hey I got this idea is this going to work can I do a reduced load and shoot a gel block 15 to 20 yards from me and get accurate results and I was basically told yes that's how we do it um, we reduce the load we fire it into jail we get our performance um, based off of that so you can and so I, I mix my gel blocks to their standards and try to really give an accurate representation of bullets and how they're going to perform. You know, in this case, I got the 264 bullets here. I'm testing the bullets, not necessarily the cartridge driving them, and more so on that low end velocity, so that I can visually see uh, in that gel block the extensiveness of the permanent wound cavity and tissue damage, knowing. I can trust these bullets at that range. So originally it had more to do all with that low velocity. But then comes my other thought of, well something that's going to open up good at low velocities and perform well at long range is going to fragment and grenade at closer range. So I'm testing more so the, the broadness of the performance of that bullet. Yeah, a lot of companies do have those ratings out there, like Nosler here on these that are 1,900 feet to 3,200 feet. Um, and th those are primarily based off of averages in their test. They're pretty accurate overall, but they don't do that exact test on all calibers available. And an example is there's a 264 Acubon long range at high velocity and at the lower velocity this is down under under 1300 feet per second that they're rated to in the 264 in the 308 that high velocity impacted at about uh, 3100 feet per second and that low velocity one, when I reduce it all the way to the 1300 feet per second that Nosler says that are rated down to, over 50% of them tumble through the gel and don't perform. I had to boost them up a little bit and to get a 100% of them to mushroom and not fail, I had to get around 1600 feet per second. So although their, their velocity ratings are pretty accurate, I wanted that visual detail and know for sure. So that is why I started doing these videos. That's why I started a YouTube channel. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, so I have full intent of continuing to do videos and more videos on, on different things. So if people are watching this and have comments that things they're interested in, by all means leave it in the comments. Uh, one of my next videos is going to be um, completely off of some comments on one of my videos where I was communicating with the guy and I'm doing the test for him, but mostly because I don't mind putting that investment into that test because his question piqued my curiosity and I want to know. So that's really the uh, purpose of my YouTube channel was the information I was looking for wasn't out there I want to make sure it's a uh, fair and accurate representation of bullets there is a high and a low velocity range to bullets if you've got one that performs really well at low velocities it's probably not going to be a good for close range shots you know 
it's, it's you kind of got to pick and choose what you want to what style of hunting you do and if you never shoot anything closer than 300 yards then yeah you want a gun that shoots 3,000 plus feet per second at the muzzle if most of your shots are within 300 yards regardless of caliber you don't want over 300 or over 3,000 feet per second at the muzzle because the bullet's going to grenade I just wanted to put that in video so people could see this is how these bullets perform at that range not just the velocity rating, rating on a box but to be able to visually see that and go yes if I shoot this animal at this range with that bullet I'm going to get extensive damage throughout the chest cavity and know I can um, humanely and ethically drop that animal so that is the reason I started my YouTube channel and my primary purpose is to test velocity ranges.